Hey there everybody, Brian Miller, Small Town Movie Watcher. I just got done watching with the fam, Boss Baby from DreamWorks. Um, this movie is rated PG. Uh, it is voice talented by Alec Baldwin, Lisa Kudrow, um, Jimmy Kimmel, Tobey Maguire. Um, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. So this movie is about a boss baby. And this boss baby has a particular job to do, and that job is to make babies the most important thing, most cute thing that a parent, child, parent family could ever want again, uh, because puppies are taking over their spot as the best, as the best need thing, best needed thing, uh, in the world so boss baby's job is to change that change the tide and he comes to live with the templetons who are marketing geniuses for puppy corp and um they're unleashing the new product that is going to make puppies the must-have thing in the world so what are some good things in this movie? I think that the movie, I think DreamWorks does a really good job. I don't think they do it as good as Pixar, but they do a good job with their animation. Um, looking at the animation for this movie, there were, um, there were, there was a, a few distinct styles of it, depending on what it was. Um, if Timothy, who is the older brother, was having a fantasy, then all of a sudden the fantasy sequences which were directed by somebody else um had this different look and feel to it so it could have had a look of uh, comic booky 2d watercolors um anime and so depending on the fantasy that timothy was having timothy leslie templeton was having um then um you know, the the look on the screen took on a different look and feel. Um, <clears throat> whereas Pixar is trying to get as life, trying towards more lifelike in their animation, you know, water, sand, um, sky, large movements of animals, and even in sometimes kind of people, uh, DreamWorks has gone about to try to at least keep their stuff looking animated for right now doesn't mean that it'll stay that way so that was good i thought that the voice acting was good um there's a preview for the movie leap before our movie and the voice acting in that movie is horrible at least it looks like it um but this movie i think that the voice acting was good um so that was good what was bad no, 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 let's back up. What else was good? Uh, there were some funny jokes that were in there. Um, there were some things. There's the opening title sequence where Alec Baldwin, as the baby, is going down the baby, baby assembly line. Because we all know that babies come from an assembly line, not a cabbage patch. But um, That was a joke in the movie. Um but he's facing backwards and upside down and they're putting pacifiers in baby's mouths and he notices where said pacifier is going to end up and so he gets himself re-turned around real quick um so that was kind of funny <laughs> um what else was funny there was a couple of funny j jokes in there I kind of like there's this wizard alarm clock that Timothy has. I liked how that worked out. Um, I also liked just the imagination it shows that children can have. Um, and that my children, when they got home, were showing those same type of imagination. And I need to remember to allow them just to have that imagination, not to stifle it, not to drown it out but to let that imagination thrive um because with a good imagination you know i really think that problems of the world can get fixed um so there's that um what else what else what else what else was good oh there was a funny joke also they were uh 
base boss baby was getting his butt uh baby powdered and then he farted and went <laughs> there's a cloud of baby powder smoke it was funny maybe a little childish um so what was bad? Uh, I think the bad parts of this movie were that, um, you know, fortunately, I mean, the good part was that my children aren't asking me where babies come from, so that's fine. But they had apparently that already the seven-year-old in this movie had already had the talk of where baby came from. Uh, it did not encourage my seven-year-old to have this talk, but. Um, I don't think at seven you're ready for that talk, but they apparently had that talk in this movie. Um, it's not exactly a bad thing, it's just, I don't know, not my cup of tea, and I'm glad my child's not asking about it uh, yet, because I have three boys, so that all falls on me. Yippee skippy. Um, and let's see, anything else good about it? No. So what's bad about this movie? No, we were just doing the bad. Uh, the bad, other bad parts of this movie. Um, so, I guess kind of the bad parts are, was this an over-elaboration of Timothy's, um, uh, over-elaboration of Timothy's imagination, or do these things actually take place? I don't know. I mean, it makes it look like that these all these things take place, and then that um his imagination he teaches boss baby how to have an imagination how to have fun so all that takes place it makes the world a better place um the ugly about this movie i don't think there's ugly about this movie obviously if this movie is successful uh, dreamworks is going to attempt to make a sequel to this movie and i think that this movie is great as a standalone movie and that there doesn't need to be a sequel but if it makes enough cash they're going to try to make another one um i mean they do it they all do it heck um i mean it doesn't need to happen. Like, Croods. I thought Croods was a good movie, but Croods is going to end up coming out with another one. We already know that. We also know that things like um, The Ice Age uh, came out, and they're now on, like, movie five or six at this point. Um, if it makes enough cash, they, they kind of say, let's keep the money coming in, and they do a, a sequel to it real quick. So there's a possibility that this movie will do the same thing. Um, so is this movie safe for your family? Yeah, this movie's safe for your family. I think this is a movie that is nice for everyone to go and watch. Um, we took all five of us. We only bought the popcorn. We didn't buy pop this time. But we bought our popcorn and we ended up having a delightful afternoon at the movie theater. Um, so I think that you and your family can go and watch this right now as well. It's there right now at the movie theater. Um, is there anything else you should know? Hmm. No. But I do think that you, if you don't want to go watch this movie, that you should go find a movie and get lost in it. But I really think that this is the one you should get lost in. So with that, Brian Miller, Small Town Movie Watcher, and I just got done watching Boss Baby, rated PG, and I'll talk to you again soon, everybody. Bye.